Dean, um, as a leader in the room, when you have a guy, a rookie like TJ Slayton coming into likely an increased role on Sunday, what's your message to him throughout the week? Uh, just trust your instincts. You know, TJ has played well uh, before when, when Kenny has gone down. Uh, I look back to that Kansas City game uh, when we were short. I was even limited that game. And TJ came in and played, you know, 40-plus snaps and played really well. So um, he's got a lot of talent, and each week he's gotten better. So um, we're excited to see what he can do in, in a big role this week. Jason, what Dean, the uh, number one rushing offense in the league, great time to be without Kenny. Um, what's kind of been your attitude this week? I know it's next man up, but just what's been the what's been the attitude in your room? Yeah, it starts up front. Uh, this team, like you said, uh, runs the ball very well. Um, it, they're a very physical team. That's what they pride themselves on. Uh, so it's a big challenge for us. And um, but we think we have a deep room um, with myself and Kiki and Tyler and TJ and, and so on. So um, you know, it's a, it's a challenge, but also a big opportunity to show everyone what we can do. Um, you know, without probably our best player. Wes Hodkowitz. Hey, Dean. Uh, with Cam Jordan, I think he missed last week's game. I think I have you now as the longest uh, you know, consecutive games played amongst defensive linemen at like 82 or something. I'm just wondering to what you attribute you know, that durability and if that is a pretty heavy, MB, heavy emphasis for you. Uh, with your training, uh, you know, I don't think about think about that too much, honestly. Um, usually, at the end of the year, I'll kind of look back and and you know, kind of just you know, reflect on that. But um, you know, that's one thing that I do try and do is you know, answer the bell each Sunday and I'm um, trying you know, play through some bumps and bruises. But um, I think it's partially luck, partially me, you know, taking care of my body in the off season. But um, that's that's overall, I think, just an impressive thing for Cam Jordan. I know I played you know, ten plus years, but that's not a huge uh, you know, week to week focus for me. But still, pretty cool. Jason Moldy. Well, now I got to totally steal Wes's stat there. Uh, <laughs> Dean, what um, how different has it been for you this year, even with those bumps and bruises, though, compared to what you dealt with last year? Have you felt a lot healthier and felt better about just going out there every week? Yeah, I feel good. I think this year is the most physical I've played, um, starting from you know early on in the season and until now. So um, the big thing is just consistency and bringing it each and every week. And um, after a good game or a not so good game, you know, hitting the reset button and just kind of taking it week by week. So um, this is again back to this week a huge challenge for us um, playing the Ravens, and um, this is you know just a huge test for our defense. <clears throat> Rob Domofsky. Hey, Dean, has this been your best year? And if so, why or, or why not? Uh, yeah, I would say so. You know, I think um, I've always been a solid player um, in the run game. But um, this year, just I think having more opportunities and pass rush, um, we've had some injuries up front. So I have gotten more chances to be out there in certain um, third down situations or just opportunities to get after the quarterback. And then I've uh, been able to um, have a few sacks this year and I think more pressure. So um, just, just being more physical and, and letting things take care of themselves. But also, um, I would say, you know, having more opportunities in those uh, situations. Cassidy Hill. Dean, your coaches have mentioned ad nauseum this week how difficult this offense is and, and how it's different than every other offense in the league. What is it that makes them so unique to defend? Uh, they do a lot of different things. Uh, they don't have many tendencies in their formation. And then obviously with their, their running game, they use the quarterback a lot. So um, they, they almost always have a plus one um, kind of, you know, um, in their offense compared to what we have. Um, so I think it comes down to just playing fundamentals. And it's one of those games where, we, you know, we don't really know where the ball is going to go. And they have some talented guys in the backfield. But if we just do our job and do our 111th, you know, we'll be fine. Bill Huber. Dean, you kind of got into this with, with Rob's question a moment ago, but as a group, as a defense, why has your pass rush been so good? Like, you've got more pressures than you had all last year. Kenny does. Obviously, you haven't had Zedaria. So what what have, what have what has made you guys so productive in that regard? Uh, yeah, I think also, you know, I want to give credit to the defense, too. Uh, with this defense that Coach Barry has brought in, um, he allows us to play in the best fronts possible to really be aggressive and um, to give everyone opportunities to, to get after it in the pass rush. So um, and then also, I think just everyone's playing at a high level. I think when guys are um, getting pressures and sacks, that's contagious. So across the, the D line, whether it's Preston or Sean or Kenny or Kiki or myself, um, guys are hungry to go out there and make plays and to affect the quarterback. Wes Hodkowitz. Hey, Dean, uh, kind of going off of that, with what Tyler has given you guys this year, you know, he kind of had that elbow injury for a minute, but it seems like, you know, kind of has hit his stride too. Just just how valuable has he been, you know, in that role, especially, you know, if you don't have Kenny, you don't have Kiki when, when he's sort of stepped up. 
Yeah, I would say that's why there's there's no panic right now because anytime uh, anytime Kenny has gone down, Tyler has stepped up and played really well. So um, he's he's a guy that's very stout in the run game. Um, he's at the point of attack. He's as strong as there is in the in the pass in pass rush. He'll get some good uh, push too. So he's someone who's just super reliable, and uh, you know he's always you know, a great teammate for us. Jason Wildey. Hey, Dean, you mentioned the quarterback being involved in their run game. Obviously, there's some uncertainty on who that is going to be for them. When you watch film, do they do they really look like they run essentially the same thing, whether it's Lamar in there or whether it's Huntley? Is it, it Does it stay pretty much the same? Yeah, I would say it does. You know, obviously, um, you know, Hunley is, is not Lamar. Uh, Lamar has extra gear when he has the ball in his hand, but um, it is a pretty similar similar offense, and um, they, they do a lot of things out of the pistol, so that takes away tendencies of where the back is at and which way they're going to go. But they also have a lot of their, their gap scheme, their power plays off that too um, with the quarterback reading the end. So it's really a different offense that, you know, we haven't seen a whole lot of, but um, I think we put in extra work this week um, in the film room and just the preparation because it's a it's an uncommon opponent, so that's a, a big challenge for us, but I think we're ready for it. Mark Daniels. Hey, Dean, I know a lot of guys can't hit the curveball, but I, that's, that's baseball. But I want to ask you why you think this team is so good at dealing with curveballs thrown your way, whether it's an injury, last second replacement, COVID, new protocols, yet, yet you guys seem to handle it uh, without uh, even blinking an eye. Yeah, I would say a strong team culture. I think that becomes contagious when you see guys across the football that were maybe backups or even third strings in training camp now playing at a high level on the O-line or wherever it is. Um, you, you see that, and you want to play great too. And um, it speaks also to the depth of our team. Uh, I, I could tell in training camp right away that there wasn't a huge drop-off from even our twos or our ones across both, you know, O line and D line. So that's huge for our team. Credit to just, you know, the overall um, organization. But I would just say, just strong culture on the team to keep working, always get better, develop, but also um, just really good talent on on both sides of the football.